Hey everybody, it's Jamie, aka The Bag Lady. Oh, I couldn't, almost couldn't get that out. For those of you that don't know me, I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and The Real Real by day. I'm a business banking loan renewal specialist. So what I've got for you guys today is our Saturday evening bag sale. Woohoo! I finally pulled one together, you guys. Um, so what I've got for you is 12 bags today. Um, I know I'm a little light. Usually I come with at least 20, um, but... I, 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 needed, I needed to cut back a little bit. So I got um, 12 bags. They are numbered one through 12. Um, so in the comments section, I will have number one through 12 numbered out once the video drops. If there is a bag emoji, that means the bag has sold. If there is a P, that means the bag is pending. Um, if there's nothing, that means that bag is still available. Um, if you see something here that you like, please email me, jamiewhitenight at iCloud.com. Let me know the bag number that you um, want. If it's your first time ordering from me, please include your address, your shipping address, as well as your PayPal um, information so that I can um, figure up shipping and send a PayPal request. I do ask that you pay straight away. Um, oftentimes there are more than one person looking for a bag. If I don't receive payment within an hour of, um, sending the PayPal request, um, I will email you. If I still don't receive payment, I'm going to go on to the next lady. Um, <clears throat> so again, just email me. I do use pirate ship for shipping. Um, so that gives you the best possible shipping price, um, available. And um, let's see, no refunds, no exchanges. I do my best to go over the bag in detail um, and point out any flaws that I see um, or that I'm aware of. Um, so with that, you guys, I'm sure I've forgotten something, but um, I will circle back if I have. Um, let's get on with the bag sale. And let's see, bag number one is actually a thrifted bag. I found this yesterday when I went out thrifting. This is bag number one. This is the Kate Spade Poly Bag in flapper pink. It does have its removable cross body strap. It has a shoulder strap gold tone hardware, you've got your little enamel spade on there, and then on the back side of the bag, it is embossed with Kate Spade, New York. You do have an outside magnetic pocket lined in pale pink. This bag is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I have gone over this bag multiple times because I keep thinking there's no way that somebody just donated this beautiful Kate Spade. But I have not, I truly have not found anything wrong with this bag. Again, it is pale pink, pebbled leather. Um, so you can throw her up on your shoulder like that, or you can wear her as a crossbody. Um, you can make this longer or shorter, the crossbody strap, it is adjustable. Um, and we've got our zip top closure. Zipper runs like butter, y'all. I know you guys have missed me saying that. I do have, I do have a bag here for my stuffing. And I am pulling, I just pulled it all out in one fell swoop. Okay, inside the bag, we have the pale pink Kate Spade lining. Um, you do have an inside zipper pocket. Zipper runs like butter. Um, and then inside the zipper pocket is your um, information on the bag. I thought I saw in here So this bag is from December of 2018, according to the um, tab in the bag. You do have a slip pocket 
that has like a little snap and spade detailing. And there's your inside slip pocket, your zipper pocket. Y'all, it's like I've never shown a bag before. I will get right back on the horse. Um, here is your lining. I'm gonna pull your lining out for you so that you can see. It is, this bag is really, really clean, you guys. There might be some light smudging around the top. There is a little bit of something right there. But other than that, this bag is clean. So for item number one, the Kate Spade Poly Bag in Flapper Pink, I am asking $48 plus shipping. And again, that is $48 plus shipping for the Kate Spade Pale Pink Pebbled Leather Poly Bag. We do have Kate Spade embossed on the hardware. Um, again, you've got a removable crossbody or shoulder strap with the embossed hardware. This is a stunning, stunning bag. So again, bag number one, $48 plus shipping. All right. Bag number two, another bag that I found out thrifting, you guys. Um, this is bag number two. It is a leather tote bag in a silver metallic. You have an outside zip pocket lined in tan. Um, this is by The Sack. It is branded there. This bag, I believe, is actually a new without tag situation. So it is a shoulder tote <clears throat> with a snap closure, magnetic snap closure, outside zipper pocket. You throw this bad boy up on your shoulder and it is huge. Let me see if I have a tape measure. I do have a tape measure. So I will give you measurements on this bag before I unstuff it because this bitch is, this is a big ass bag, y'all. All right, so you're looking at approximately 17 inches across and about 12 and a half inches tall. You have a 10 inch strap drop and then your width is about seven inches um seven inches wide this way and again well let's measure it across the bottom actually across the bottom it measures 14 Across the top, it is larger. Across the top, it measures 17, okay? And then up and down, once again, is about 12, 12 and a half. So this is a big ass bag. It is all leather. This strap, you guys, the shoulder strap is really, really spongy and it's so comfortable. This bag is absolutely incredible. I still can't believe I found it. And I'm going to tell you something, you guys. I know you guys don't like the sack. A lot of you ladies, um, sometimes I bring it and you don't buy it. Um, I would buy this one. I am offering a steal of a deal on it. I am not bringing this bag back. If it does not sell here today for the price that I'm asking for it, I am going to list this on Poshmark for $120. Um, I found two sold comps. Actually, this bag, this sack bag, it is called... The Los Feliz Slouchy Large Tote, okay? This bag is still being sold online. It retails for $220. Um, you can find it on Bloomingdale's, I think Nordstrom, Macy's. It is still being sold online for $220. Um, I found two sold comps for the same exact bag. One on Page for $120, one on eBay for $108. So, if this bag does not sell here today, I am going to list it on Posh. I'm not going to bring it back on clearance. I'm not going to mark it down 
because the sack actually sells really well on Posh. So I am gonna offer you guys a steal of a deal on this bag. Um, but like I said, if you don't buy it, I'm listing it. And let me show you the inside so y'all can make up your minds. There is the inside of the bag. It is tan on the inside, it has tan cloth. It does have it does have an inside zipper pocket. There is your sack branding. Zipper runs. There's also a slip behind the zip pocket. This bag still has its silica gel packets. I really think this is a new without tag situation. Um, and it is 100% leather. Um, I can't pull. The lining does not come out, um, but... It, again, it is clean. You got slip pockets on this side and then your zip and your branding on this side. You've got branding on the end right here that says the sack. Um, gorgeous, 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 giant tote bag. Um, again, this is item number two, the sack. It is the Lost Feliz Slouchy Large Tote. Um, in silver metallic. I am offering it to you guys one time only, tonight only for $40 plus shipping. Like I said, if it doesn't sell tonight, um, I'm listing it on Poshmark for, for full ask and I'm going to put 120 on there. Um, so that was bag number two. Bag number three. I have all my bags set out, but then I put stuff on top of them. Bag number three is this Powder Blue Michael Kors Pebbled Leather Backpack. It does have the top handle. It has two adjustable leather straps. It has silver tone hardware um, with the Michael Kors embossed. And... There's your bottom. Now, this bag is not perfect. It does have a few spots. It has a spot here, a spot here. Um, on the top. And then along the zipper pull here. Thought I saw one more. And then on the zipper pull there. Otherwise, she's gorgeous. This is Michael Kors. It is not Michael by Michael Kors. It is straight up Michael Kors. Um, this is a pebbled leather backpack. You can, you know, you can carry it from your top handle. You can adjust the straps and carry it any way you want. It does have a zip around bottom. Where is it? So you can store stuff in the bottom of this bag and it's pretty clean in there. You got your Michael Kors branded lining. And then you've got, here is the inside. Okay. So there is a little stain right there but other than that it is clean okay here's your other zipper section and there's the inside of the bag there's your michael kors branding right here um, you do have an inside zip pocket that zipper runs. You've got a slip pocket along with your certificate of authenticity. You have your key leash. 
in here, which is actually still attached with the plastic. I did not undo the plastic. Um, I figure whoever buys the bag can have that on her. And then there are slips back here. So for the Michael Kors pebbled leather backpack with just a few little spots on it, um, I am asking $35 plus shipping. That is a steal, you guys, for this backpack. An absolute steal. If I had been able to get all the spots off, I would have asked a whole lot more for it. Um, beautiful, beautiful Michael Kors baby blue pebbled leather backpack. Item number three, $35 plus shipping. All right. Item number four. Item number four is actually a brand that I have never picked up before. Well, maybe I have. Um, this is by Travelon. Um, I just thought that this was a super cute, fun, colorful bag. You've got an adjustable crossbody strap. Um, you have silver tone hardware, branded hardware. You've got an outside zipper pocket with a gray interior. Then you have another outside zipper pocket on the back with a blue interior. And then you've got top zip closure. Let me model this bag. So again, you've got an adjustable fabric cross body strap. And it's set pretty long. You know, I'm a short girl, so Anyway, it's quilted fabric. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, very Vera Bradley-ish, but not Vera Bradley. And then inside you have um, a little working flashlight um, that clips on and off. And you have inside slips credit card slots down in here. And then on this side, you've got, y'all, it's my first day. You've got inside zipper pocket. So for item number four, the Travel On Quilted Crossbody, I am asking $20 plus shipping. And it's branded, travel on. It's a beautiful, beautiful bag. So $20 plus shipping for the travel on. Item number five. Item number five is this. Um, this is by Latico. This is um, a little cross body bag. Um, in, let's see, what is it called? It's the Latico Miller crossbody bag in black shimmer. Now, this bag is still available online, not in this colorway. I was not able to find this colorway available at all for resale. Now, with the strap, it does pull down here, so if you wanna make the strap shorter, you would just knot it from here and then pull it off. Let me model this. So it hangs pretty low on me, because again, I am a short girl, um, but it is the shiny leather. You have an outside snap pocket. You have an outside slip pocket on the back gold tone hardware and genuine leather handmade in India by artisans. And then here is your Latico brand branding. So again, this bag is and here. I'll pull the, pull it all the way out for you. Um, super, super clean. This bag is still available online. It does retail for $135. Believe it or not, this little bitty bag retails for $135. Now, the bag itself, yes, is available online. It is not available in this colorway. Um, okay, 
I'm going to run over the zipper really um, before I send it out with um, some wax paper because it, it does appear to stick a little bit, but I just need to, I just need to grease that up a little bit. It'll be fine. Um, but again, this is Latico. This is item number five. Has a retail price of $135. I am offering this up today for $25 plus shipping. And remember, this bag is still available online, but the colorway is not. And I did not find any in this colorway, in this style for resale. So again, the Latico Miller Crossbody, $25 plus shipping. That's item number five. Item number six is B. Mikowski. This is a black shoulder bag, a black leather shoulder bag. Um, silver tone hardware. You've got pockets up front. This zipper here is really just for looks. You can't, there's no storage in there. But there is storage in these two outside slip pockets. You've got a back phone pocket. Um, again, you've got silver tone hardware embossed with B. Mikowski. There is the bottom of your bag, the sides. You know, it's just a stunning, stunning bag. Shoulder, shoulder tote and throw it up on your shoulder. You can carry it in the crook of your arm. Um, it does have a snap magnetic closure. And your signature B. Mikowski animal print lining. You've got your branding there. You've got your inside zip pocket, runs like butter. On the other side, you've got your slips. And then you've got a little D-ring that you can clip your key ring to so you're not losing your keys in the bottom of your bag. I will pull out the lining. It does pull out. Um, it does have, um, it's not perfect by any means, um, but it's still a beautiful, beautiful bag. B. Mikowski, all leather. Um, you do have a little bit of cracking along your um your shoulder straps, which that's going to happen with these leather handles. Um, <clears throat> but it's still a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Item number six, B. Mikowski, um, $20 plus shipping. <laughs> so I do have a, a receptacle for my paper and it's not going in the receptacle receptacle it's going on the floor y'all know it's going to make me crazy um number seven is brighton love tote this thing's gargantuan okay so this is brand new with tags the only problem is is that i accidentally so here's the plastic thing for the tag i accidentally tore it off um it is here and i was gonna like Put it back on and then put a small piece of tape but I didn't want you guys to think I was being shady so I just wanted to let you know I accidentally pulled the tag off but it is brand new with tags the tag is with it it can easily go back on the bag but this is a Brighton love tote you guys know that these are collectible um, and once they're gone, they are gone. Um, so it's a pretty big tote. It says Brighton on the back. It's very, very bright. It's really a nice, nice burlap fabric tote. They retail for $150 when they release them. And there's your inside. And then you do have an inside zipper pocket, which is where I have, where I tucked the tag. Um, and it says a pocket full of love on the pocket, on the inside zipper pocket. Um, beautiful, beautiful tote. This would be perfect to 
take out Christmas shopping to haul all your wares. Um, you've got great fabric handles and then a heavy burlap. So again, it's the Brighton Love Tote. It is item number seven. Item number seven. I am asking $25. $25 plus shipping for that Brighton Love Tote. All right. Item number eight is also Brighton. It is a vintage piece. Um, and it's so stinking cute, you guys. Look how cute this is. It's a little vintage um, crock embossed, silver tone hardware, cute little bag, magnetic closure. You open it like that. Whoops. And it's very magnetic. And there's your inside. You have an inside slip pocket. And that's that. I mean, adorable, adorable little leather um, bag. You can carry it like this. You can, you know, carry it like this if you want. You could, this is, you know, the strap is removable. You could remove this braided handle, braided leather handle, and throw like a silver cross body chain or whatever, whatever you want. Um, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous little piece in fantastic condition. You do have a little bit of light wear on the hardware that happens with Brighton. Otherwise, beautiful, beautiful bag. Um, for the Brighton Mini Satchel Vintage, I am asking $20 plus shipping. So stinking cute. Perfect for the holidays to go with your little black dress. Item number nine is an item that I rarely see in the wild. Um, but it is fantastic leather quality. This is Via Spiga. It is a pebbled leather with gunmetal hardware, um, little shoulder bag. Okay. And, or you can, so it's got a belt. You can take this off and wear it as a belt bag if you wanted to. This is convertible. But if you want to throw it up on your shoulder, that's what it looks like. Um, pebble Again, pebbled leather. This is just absolutely incredible. I cannot believe that I found this bag. Um, if you could just feel the leather, you would know what I'm talking about. And again, you've got like a belt style, so you can undo it. And if you want to wear it as a belt bag, you certainly can. Or you can carry it as a shoulder bag. Um, and then you've got like the buckle detail and it does, it does have branding. It does say via Spica on the buckle snap flap closure inside. You've got via Spica branded, um, lining. And there's your interior. You've got an inside zipper pocket. Zipper runs. You've got your Via Spica branding. And oh. There you go. That's your lining. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful leather bag. Um, and again, Via Spica is not a brand that I typically find. Now I found their shoes. I found Via Spica's shoes, but not handbags. So this was quite the find. Um, there you go. For item number nine, the Via Spiga convertible bag, I am asking $25 plus shipping. That's item number nine, Via Spiga. Item number 10 is Fossil Baby. It is a black fossil bag um there's your embossed um <laughs> embossed branding you have a shoulder strap you also have an adjustable removable cross body strap it's got a top zip closure this bag is in phenomenal condition phenomenal and there you go if you wanted to cross body it it is adjustable it's set really really long or if you wanted to remove the crossbody strap and shoulder it, you can certainly do that. 
Again, we've got gold tone hardware, top zip closure. Gray lining, fossil branding. You've got an inside zipper pocket, zipper runs. Oops. Okay, so that one was already zipped open. Okay. It still has its care booklet inside, its little fossil care booklet in the zipper pocket. Then you've got two slips on this side, gray fabric interior. Um, the only thing this did not come with is a fossil key. But I know you ladies that carry fossils, you got keys that you could swap out and put on this beautiful leather bag. So item number 10, Fossil, black fossil cross body bag. I am asking $25 plus shipping. Item number 11. You guys are going to shit your pants when you see this bag. And I'm going to show this bag. Okay. And I'm covering up who it's by. This is a leather cross body bag. It is adjustable. It has an adjustable strap. Gold tone hardware, back zipper, quilted pebbled leather. Oh my God. So this bag is the Vera Bradley quilted test bag. It retails for $198 and it is real leather. Real leather, y'all. It's in a, um, oh, what did they call this? Claret color black is the color on this bag. Um, but there it is, cross body style. It's hanging a little bit low. You can make this bag shorter or longer, depending on height. Again, you've got gold tone hardware. It is embossed with Vera Bradley uh, in the hardware. You've got an outside zipper pocket, and it's lined in the Vera Bradley floral print fabric. And there's your gold tone hardware with Vera Bradley on it. And there you go. Inside you've got floral. It is in a, it's got three sections inside. Um, I almost say that this is kind of accordion style just because um, you look at the bottom like that. So, um, but on the back, you've got card slops card slots back here, credit card slips back there. And in the front, you've got your Vera Bradley branding. And then you have a center zip pocket. There you go. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Um, I was really, really excited to bring this bag to you guys because this is not, this is not like any other Vera that I've ever seen. Um, and again, it is 100% genuine leather. Um, this is not faux. It is genuine leather. Pebbled leather, quilted, black color block, claret color. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous bag. I am asking $40 for this bag. Um, and honestly, if it does not sell today... I'm not bringing it back for clearance. I will um, just keep this bag. That's that's how much I love this bag. Item number 11, Vera Bradley Quilted Tess in Claret Black Color Black, um, $40 plus shipping. That brings us to the last bag, you guys. Wow. And I've breezed through this in less than 35 minutes. All right, last bag is Patty Nash. And I'm going to tell you guys something. I bought this bag for myself and I pulled it out last night because um, I kind of forgot about it <laughs> and I started looking at it and it's way too big for me. It, it honest, I, I'm not going to end up carrying this bag and it really kills me because I admired this bag for quite a while before I actually purchased it. Um, but looking at it in person made me realize that, and it's got its dust bag, made me realize that I am never going to carry this bag. <coughs> <coughs> okay.
Okay, this is a Patricia Nash Melrose drawstring bucket bag. It has an adjustable crossbody strap. It's got, there's where you can adjust it. You've got a back pocket. It is in a tartan plaid. This is like a gold and red, just friggin' incredible bag, you guys. Absolutely incredible. And it's brand new with the tags. It's got, and it's got all its doodads too. It's got the tassel. It's got a branded key ring. I mean, in the logo, it's got all of its doodads. Here's the tag. So it is the Melrose drawstring bucket bag in tartan, <clears throat> tartan plaid. This bag is just, it's the cat's meow. I'm going to tell you what. I honestly, if I thought I would carry this bag, I would keep it. But it's, it's gargantuan. I mean, it, look at it. It overpowers me, y'all. I mean, it's just stunning though. Absolutely stunning. But again, I know I don't have enough shit. To, I mean, I'd have to like, I'd have to put blankets and shit in this bag. I just don't, you know what? You guys know how I roll. I don't carry all, I don't carry that much stuff with me. Um, if my laptop had fit in here, then I would have kept it and just carried, you know, like my laptop and stuff back and forth to work. But it, my laptop wouldn't fit. So again, brand new with the tags. Excellent, excellent Christmas gift. This is item number 12, Patricia Nash. Um, let me show you the inside, you guys. I have so much stuffing in here. And this bag, too, comes with its silica packet. It is floating around down there in the bottom. You've got your signature Patricia Nash lining. You've got your branding. You have an inside zipper pocket with your um, card that gives you your style number and color and all of that is in the inside pocket. And then you do have slips on the other side. Um, this is stunning, 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 brand new with the tag. And you know what? I'm going to keep this baby. And you know, I actually pulled it out yesterday because I was like, oh, I need to throw some stuffing in that and so that it keeps its shape until I'm ready to carry it. And then as I was stuffing it up and realizing how much stuffing it takes and how big this bag actually is, I realized that I would, I would probably never carry this bag. Um, so I thought rather than keep it on a shelf in the bedroom doing nothing, I would offer it up to you guys. It's, you know, the holiday time. It's a perfect gift for, um, you know, anybody who likes Patricia Nash. Um, so what I'm asking for this bag, item number 12, Patricia Nash, um, Melrose drawstring bucket bag in tartan plaid. I am asking $95 plus shipping. Um, this bag retails for $298, I believe. So at 95, brand new a tag, it is a steal of a deal. Um, so that is it, you guys. Um, and honestly, I kind of think 12 is going to be my magic number from now on. Um, I, I know I've been bringing 20 plus bags, um, and that's a lot of work for me. 12 was manageable. So I think that that's the number I'm going to shoot for going forward. Um, it seems like it's manageable for me and it doesn't make for too long of a video. So anyway, I hope you all love the bags that I brought for you today. I really worked hard to bring a variety um, of brands and styles. 
And um, with that, it brings me to story time. And y'all, I don't have a whole lot for you. Um, well, this is the first video that you are seeing since I've come back from California. And I do, I did record a scrap fabric box video that I'm going to drop on Monday. Um, and I do talk a little bit about my California trip. And you know what? It was fantastic to get away. It was exactly what we needed as a family. My nephew, my niece, myself. I only wish Zach had been able to join us. Um, but we had a great time in California. Um, my nephew's appetite came back. The light actually reached his eyes when he smiled. Um, so we're on, you know what? I mean, we're all still grieving. Um, you know, we all still miss my brother terribly. My nephew misses his dad more than he can articulate. But we are um, starting the healing process. You know, that's, that's the road that we're on now. And... Um, you know, it, that trip was good for all of us. Um, and I did go live really quick for those of you that caught me. I went live from Malibu Beach. Um, I was just like so in awe of the beauty of the nature and the water. Like, y'all, I can't hardly swim for shit. All I can do really is doggy paddle. Um but I love the water. There's something about the water, the waves, the sound of the waves crashing in. It just brings peace and serenity. Um, so my nephew and I actually spent a lot of time exploring beaches. We went to Rodondo Beach. We went to Santa Monica. We went to the Santa Monica Pier and the beach. Um, we went to Malibu Beach. I mean, <clears throat> it was just just what we needed um you know it was unfortunate i had planned to meet up with pat on monday um but then i found out that my niece had a doctor's appointment that would have put my nephew in the car like for four like two hours there two hours back then waiting around at the doctor's office with my niece and so I didn't want to do that to the kid. He's a 14-year-old boy. He don't want to spend 100 years in the car going to the doctor with his older sister. So um, him and I hung out instead. And Pat, bless her heart, she understood. Um, and I will definitely catch up with Pat next time because I'm going back, you guys. Probably, let's see, my plane ticket was $228 um, round trip, which is shocking. That was shockingly cheap. So, um, in a couple months, if I can find that ticket for that price again, um, homegirl's going to go back to Cali for a little bit, for a little more R&R, &R, um, because it, it's my new happy place. It really is. Um, just the beauty. Oh, my niece lives up in the mountains, so you could, like, one part, you can see L.A., all of L.A., and then the other part, you see the Pacific Ocean, it's just amazing there. Um, so that's that. That's a little, little bit of my trip from Cali. Um, I don't really have a whole lot else going on. Um, I did go out thrifting today with my sister-in-law, Becky. I spent way too much money. I got a bunch of stuff. I will film a thrift haul. I don't know when I will drop it. Um, let's see. Oh. We do have a special collab alert. Um, so coming to a YouTube channel near you in December, we are having a holiday collab. But that's all I'm going to tell you because we're going to let you guys be surprised. Um, but it's a fun collab and we hope you'll love it. Um, so with that, I don't really have much more. I did not score an America's Thrift Supply box. So... I don't know. And I don't know if I have a fun box coming. I haven't had a chance to check. <laughs> um, so with that, um, I guess y'all, I am out. Peace.